What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. Today we're going to go through a, a walk around of my house bag. So I am a renovation contractor, so I need a little bit of everything uh, when I'm going in for a repair. Um, usually most of the time on renovations, um, this sits uh, outside, uh, usually hangs in the trailer. Uh, this is more for service calls and little things that I need. So this is the Vito Pro Pack TPXXL. Uh, this is a great bag. I love it. I'm also going to use this time to tell you uh, what I love and what I don't like about the tools that I have in this bag. So uh, first, the thing I love about this is it has dual meter bags. It has a bag on this side and a bag on this side. I'm going to show you exactly what I have in each bag, but let's start. We're going to go from left to right, or uh, I don't know if that's the same for you, left to right, right? Um, I love the strap. The shoulder strap is a must. I also love to carry it by the handle. It's really robust. And it hangs in my trailer with a uh, hook on the paneling so that uh, I have it sitting on the shelf, but I also have it hooked on here so it can't fall over. Um, this bag is kind of top heavy. Uh, the bottom of it is all uh, molded plastic, which is really nice. Um, but I digress, let's get into it. So over here I have a Milwaukee 16 foot tape measure. Uh, I really, I, I go back and forth on tape measures. I've got a, a hundred of them and I, I don't know. I don't know which one I like more. This is okay, but 16 feet is definitely limited a lot of the time. Um, in this left hand pouch, I have the Klein outlet tester. Um, if you haven't seen that, I've done a video on this. Sing is a cheap tool, but it's also very good. Um, I'm going to leave links to descriptions or a link in the description below to some videos that I do on some of these items. Very good tester. I really, really like it. I keep that in the side pouch. In this uh, meter pouch, <clears throat> I keep my Fluke. Uh, this is the T6 600. Um, if you aren't a meter person, uh, these are very good beginner meters. Uh, they are expensive beginner meters, but uh, they're one of the best. I wouldn't buy a meter if it's not a fluke. Um, you can't convince me that Klein is any better. But in here, I, t I just uh, have some little leads and stuff like that. I'm an avionics guy by heart. Uh, so, you know, you'll find <laughs> avionics type stuff in here where uh, little pins and things where you can uh, put these in a socket or if you're working on something, you could put a wire in one end and then put your meter lead in the other and not have to be close to it. Uh, or it's nice for extending out things where you can't get to them. Um, so uh, very rarely do you come upon some stuff in the residential market that you need those, but I definitely keep them in the bag. So. My meter is standalone, it sta stays in there all by itself. All right, moving on, I uh, use the Fluke hot, meat, uh, hot Stick. Um, I really, really despise hot sticks. Um, so I, the reason why is because they're unsafe. So here, I'll, I'll tell you, uh, I, I discourage guys from using them because a lot of guys like to diagnose with these. and. Sometimes they don't get a reading on a hot wire that can still shock you. So I'm an advocate, but I'm not. If you want to check to see if an outlet's dead, if you're troubleshooting something, great. But if you're depending on the circuit being dead in order for you to work on it, this is hit or miss. Always use a meter to make sure it's dead. But the Fluke hot stick is one of the best. It, it is what it is. It stays in the bag. Um, right next to it, uh, is the Milwaukee Rover light. I'm not sure how this is wet, but it's wet in here. Um, these are great little, great little lights for just about anything. It has a really strong magnet on it. Um, you can put it on the side of a toolbox if need be. You can clip it on your, uh, the brim of your hat. You can put it just about anywhere. Really nice light to have. So once I open this up, um, I keep a lot of random stuff in here. Uh, my Uglies electrical reference guide, just in case. Um, some extra little leads of wire. I usually keep Ziploc bags of like uh, wire nuts and Romex connectors and things like that in there. Uh, I need to restock, so I don't have them in there. That's embarrassing. <laughs> but going into the main part of the bag here, uh, I keep things like the Purdy 
seven and one. Uh, I know a lot of guys will tell you it's like a 300 and one, but I keep it in the bag right here in the front. Um, I also keep a mini crescent wrench in the bag. This even has uh, wax ring crap on it. Great. May I need to clean that before I put it back in. Uh, I have a little bit of open mesh uh, sandpaper just in case we need it to sand something down or clean something up. Uh, also, double stick tape. This is important for uh, all kinds of little miscellaneous stuff. Something I never use is my Leatherman here in the front of the pouch. I never use this. <laughs> I don't even know why I keep it in the bag. I was like, oh, I need a space to fill. So I put it in there, but I never use it. Now let's go down through the things that I use all the time. So NWS extra leverage uh, diagonal cutters. Probably the best diagonal cutters uh, on the market. I like, I like these above Klein. I like these above Greenlee. I like these above Knepex. Everybody, NWS diagonal cutters all the way. Um, I have the Knepex twin grips. Uh, I've used the, these uh, extend out into multiple, they're like slip joint pliers, the old slip joint pliers, but they, um, they can extend and then they can, you know, they have multiple settings on them. I don't use them very often, but I have them in here. Um, always have a red carpet knife. Um, if you've not seen these red carpet knives, they come with the really, really sharp blades. They're the only things that I use pr pretty much for cutting is I'll use a red knife. Everybody cuts themselves on the red knives. I have a little whisk, pair of whisk scissors. Um, one thing that was missing right out of there, uh, right in the same spot as where I keep the red knife, are my Milwaukee wire strippers. And I don't know where they are, but Milwaukee wire strippers. Whisk little scissors for cutting just random things. You'll find something to cut with scissors. Um, I have another red knife, wow. I I wasn't prepared at all for this video. <laughs> Electrician scissors from Milwaukee. Really like using these. Uh, I guess I should just keep these out for now. Uh, where are screwdrivers? A small, a small flathead and a number two Phillips. Definitely highly used. The where a hex plus uh, Allen keys in metric. I really don't find myself using a standard a lot. Most shower valves and things like that all come in standard. Um, a Nicholson file, um, this is a triangle file, so for f uh, filing out striker plates and things like that, um, some traditional stuff that you find in, in houses. Uh, in the back, Greenlee lineman's pliers. Uh, I don't like anybody's lineman's pliers except for Greenlee, just putting that out there. Um, some Knipex uh, Cobra pliers, or are these the alligators? I think these are the Cobras. The original Cobras, uh, these are the 250 size, so um, very, very well used tool. Um, same thing with the Knipex pliers wrench. Um, these are really awesome because of the flat jaws on them. So usually if we're doing anything, these two pair of pliers come out. Um, I usually keep a set of uh, channel lock 420s in here, but I've done away with those because I have those two. Um, and I picked up these wire strippers from Matco. Um, these are Knipex, but they are Matco branded, blah, 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 blah. These are the Knipex wire strippers. Um, they're the, eight, uh, the 10 to 20s. So uh, they're pretty solid. I can't say I like these more than the Milwaukee strippers, but I have them in my bag to test them out. Still going through screwdrivers. I have the little, uh, the little speeder um, by Klein. I really like this for taking off outlet covers. You kind of have to have some experience in order to use it, but it works great for me. It doesn't work great for everybody else that grabs it. Um, the Klein multi screwdriver. I use this a whole lot because you can use it uh, 3 8 quarter uh, nut drivers, and then you have Phillips and square and flathead and all that stuff. Uh, and then I use the Robertson tip uh, Milwaukee. Uh, if you're not familiar with what a Robertson square is, it's got a flathead with a, a canted square in it for outlets, things like that. Going down through the bag, super lube. Always use super lube on all of your packing nuts. Uh, any kind of 
uh, any kind of rubber washer to assist it. Um, if you're putting together faucets a lot, super lube the, the O-rings uh, all the time because uh, it will help it slide together better and not tear the O-ring, trust me. Been there, done that. Um, Knipex mini bolt cutters. Mini bolt cutters are awesome. Uh, clipping off Johnny bolts on toilets. Uh, shortening screws if you don't have that much room in a wall and you're trying to put a screw in for a picture frame or a mirror or something like that and it, you know you have brick behind or you have block these cut your bolts down really easily definitely a must-have wire brush just for cleaning stuff up I like this tough built uh, scraper is a razor blade knife but then it flips out to also be a scraper so use this for cleaning up glass or uh, cleaning off some labels on some stuff that you don't like. Pretty awesome little tool. Um, another thing that I don't use ever is this little wrench set. So I thought I would, I think these are ignition wrenches. <laughs> I thought I would use these a lot more. I've never used these. So we're just gonna keep those out of the box. In the middle, I keep a Milwaukee uh, Shockwave kit that has the drill bits and the uh, and the bits in here. Um, I used to rock it with the impact down in the bag, but it, it's too big for inside the bag there in the middle. Um, Millis Construction, if you've seen his videos, he puts the impact down in the middle of the bag and I just can't get down with it. I, it just doesn't work for me. So I usually just keep this kit right down in the center. So if I ever need it, I, I just grab the, the, the way I work out of my trailer. I really don't have a long way to go uh, if I needed to go back and get an impact or I can just grab it and take it with me. Um, someday I'll show you guys my, uh, my trailer and how I have it organized and just my flow of efficiency. And so I just run the impact separately and not try to throw it in the bag. Um, up in the top here, um, there's some there's some little pouches up here that kind of just gather junk. Um, you know, I've got a, a Craftsman bit holder from Vietnam. I've got a Malco, you know, the Reversa Flip um, nut driver that's five sixteenths or a quarter. That's really convenient to have. Um, I have this little uh, flame sensor cleaner. I think I've used it like one time, but it's really come in handy. Usually I just grab the old trusty sandpaper and clean a flame sensor before I get this little tool out. Um, this is basically like a, an old battery cleaner, battery post cleaner. It has, it has wire up through the center of it and then when you spin the flame sensor in there, it cleans it, blah, 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 blah. I really don't use this thing. It's kind of a novelty item, right? It's a stocking stuffer. Now, I do use this bad boy a lot. This is a blue point, uh, like zero clearance. This is the blue point BTWS. And this is a zero clearance bit holder. Uh, I, I use this all the time because you can take the bit straight out of your, your bit holder on your impact and put it in here. And it becomes this little... Um, becomes this lit, I don't know if you can see it okay, but it becomes this little bit clean or bit holder that has basically zero clearance. It doesn't need um, any clearance to be able to operate it. Comes in handy a lot, especially if you're up underneath pedestal sinks and you're dealing with, you know, places you need a stubby and then a stubby is too big. Just reminding myself that I did not get that bit out of here. So let's go ahead and put that back. Um, up in the top here, I have some wild punches. So uh, for setting nails or just things that didn't go right, right here. Um, also up here, I keep my stud buddy. Uh, if you don't have a stud finder, these stud buddies are, are better than any stud finder there is. Um, these are just a... Well, maybe I don't have a stud buddy anymore, but they hold a magnet and um, they just, you know, you find the, where the screws are at on the wall. Um, I have a quarter inch wrench and then I have a ratcheting wrench and a quarter and five sixteenths for working on furnaces, things like that. That's it for inside the bag there. Go around to the front here. I have the small, um, I forget which screwdriver this is, electronic screwdriver maybe? Perfect for thermostats, things like that from Klein. Um, this is not the one that extends down, so this is not the pocket screwdriver. This is the electronic screwdriver. 
Um, I keep a couple old school mechanical pencils for doing uh, trim, things like that. I have the Aux mechanical pencil and I have a Pika mechanical pencil. So everybody's always grabbing a pen, pencil out of my bag, so I keep a lot of them there. Uh, rolling on to this side, I have the little Klein, uh, or no, this is a Johnson. <laughs> this is an old Johnson uh, level. This pocket level, I don't like them. I think they're, they're way too small and they're way too finicky and they're way too inaccurate. Uh, it's got a huge bubble on it. I mean, you could probably see that from a mile away, but I find them to be really inaccurate. Obviously electrical tape on the side here. Um, I don't even know what I used to keep down in the side here. Now that's, that befuddles me. I don't know what I kept down in there that's not there anymore. I'll have to go through back through that one. Milwaukee infrared gun, great for uh, shining lasers at your friends um, and getting good temp readings. I have a spring punch for knocking out uh, door hinges, uh, knocking the pins out of door hinges, really, really useful. Um, I have the temperature humidity meter from, from Fluke. Um, this is the 971, I think this is an obsolete model, but this is great for, uh, you know, indoor air quality and uh, measuring humidity and things like that. This is good for on the spot, but if you need humidity or anything like that, the 971 is where it's at. Uh, I have my technician thing here uh, for going around the doorknobs. Um, I forget where I got this from, doorjam.com, doorjamm.com. So these are really handy. Um, let people know where you're working. Um, if you're working in a place of business, really, really key so you don't get locked out somewhere. Um, on the back side, this also holds documents. I don't get in here very much, um, but I do get in here for my asbestos federal regulation stuff. I am an asbestos uh, management planner and inspector. Um, basic electric, uh, electric, or basic electrical reference guide. Um, if you're working in industrial anywhere, just good things to, for reminders. Um, always have the publication on you so that if you get asked a question and you don't know the answer, you can find it or you know where to find it. So I've got some Durbin compound stickers in here that I didn't even know I had, but um, yeah, got it all stacked in here. So I'd say that's the, uh, the full run of the Durbin compound uh, house bag. I don't think I have anything left to show on this. Um, it's a great bag. It definitely gets heavy when you have it all loaded out, um, but yeah. There is my loadout. So I don't know what goes in that pouch over there. I'll have to figure that one out. Um, it was something. It was something. Now it's not there. So usually I'm a lot more organized than that, but here we are. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you got any questions about my build out, um, you'll see my trailer soon. Um, still working on some things that, you know, everything has to be perfect in order for me to post. So, so uh, I hope to... Uh, to earn a subscription from you guys. And uh, if you got any questions, co comments, or concerns, put them in the comments below. Uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And we'll see you guys on the next video.